Everything they did, they did together as a family. The Hochstatlers of Worthington were a picture perfect family of six. Living the American dream. Family and friend and Andrew Utzi has been there since the beginning. He remembers how Jonathan and Wilma met as teenagers. They were in the same church, in the same youth group, and yeah, I guess they, they were both kind of shy people, and two shy people met each other and fell in love. From mission trips to their roofing business, friends say faith and family guided everything they did. They were just always the people that were there with a smile, and literally they would give the shirt off their back if it would help you. He says Wilma spent her last night on earth helping her husband. She drove to the west side of Indianapolis with their youngest child to bring him a new trailer tire and then stayed to help him fix broken lights. At that time, two individuals walked up on them. Wilma saw them coming and yelled to Jonathan, but it was too late. And they robbed them of Wilma's phone and both of their wallets and were walking away and they turned around and came back and just point blank shot Wilma and then Jonathan. Their six-year-old son was hiding in the truck. After the suspects fled, Jonathan told him to get his phone. The little boy grabbed it and gave it to his critically injured father so he could call 911. But it was too late for Wilma. I guess as a six-year-old boy, you don't realize what really happened. He said, Mom's going to get up again. And so it I don't think it's even, he, he doesn't realize that his mom is gone. They may now be a family of five, but Wilma's memory and contributions to the community live on and are fueling calls for justice. These things need to be cleared up.